What we're going to show you now is how to change gear on a car with a manual gearbox. Now this car has got five forward gears on one reverse. Now some cars do have six forward gears and sometimes reverse is in a different direction. On this car it's down to the right hand side. Some cars it's up to the left hand side. So when you get in the car there's a couple of safety checks you need to do before you start the engine. First of all, make sure the handbrake's on and the car's secure. And then make sure that the gear stick is in neutral. So neutral is when the gear stick can wobble from side to side. And that's denoted by the straight line on the gear stick. Some cars require you to press the clutch all the way down to the floor before you start it. Sometimes, an instructor will encourage you just to start the car with the clutch down. Some instructors don't. It doesn't make any difference. So we start the engine, the car will tick over and the revs will come up. Now to make the car go, you need to be in gear and we'd normally be in first gear to get the car going. The same as you would do with a push bike. You wouldn't ride a bike from standstill in 10th gear, you start off in first gear. Then as you slowly start to go a little bit faster, you'd get up into second, up into third, up into fourth. Now with your gears, you always go through your gears, one, two, three, four, five. But when you're slowing down, you can block change. So you can go from fifth into third, you can go from third into first, you can go from fourth into second. Exactly the same as you would on a push bike. You wouldn't be on a push bike in 10th gear, then as you slow down, go into 9th, then slow down a bit more, go into 8th, then into 7th. You would block change, so you can go from 10th, maybe into 5th, as you're slowing down. Now, to change gear in a car, to make the car go, the first thing you must do is put the clutch all the way down to the floor. You then select first gear, so you touch the gear stick, your hand is what's called palming away. So your thumb is pointing down and your left little finger is pointing up. You push it over to the left hand side and then you push it up. Now at this point here, you keep your foot all the way down on the clutch. If you take your foot off the clutch at this point, the car will stall and jump forward. You then need to set the gas. So you press the gas pedal on the right hand side so that the revs on the rev counter roughly go to about number two. So it's just a nice steady hum. At this point here, you don't take your foot off the clutch, you slowly lift it up to the bite. So as you slowly lift it up, you will feel the car just lift a little bit. If you feel the car's lifted a bit too much, just press it down a little bit. Then you release the handbrake, you slowly lift the clutch up, should take roughly about six, um, three seconds to lift the clutch up, increasing the gas. But once you start to go that little bit faster, the revs on the rev counter will slowly start to go up to number two. The engine note will start to, start to get a little bit louder. And on some cars, on the dashboard, it will tell you that what, either what gear you should be in or that you should be changing gear. Now to change the gear, the clutch goes, you come off the gas, the clutch goes all the way down to the floor. You touch the gear stick with your left hand and you push it over to the left, pull it all the way down. You can take your hand back off the gear stick back onto the steering wheel. The clutch comes up, should take roughly about two seconds to lift the clutch up, and then you go back onto the gas. And same again, the revs on the dashboard will slowly start to increase as you start to go faster. And it gets to a certain point where on the dashboard, it might tell you to change gear. The engine note will start to be a little bit louder. And at this point here, you need to change it into third gear. So you come off the gas, clutch goes all the way down to the floor, now to go from second into third, you just push it to the middle, so it pops, pops out, and then you push it straight up. You slowly come off the gas, off the clutch, should take about two seconds, and then press in the gas pedal. Now, if you need to slow down, you come off the gas first, the car will de-accelerate. You gently start to brake, but then you're gonna need to change gear because you're now going slower. So we're gonna change into second gear. So the clutch goes all the way down to the floor. You can still be braking at this point. You then take it out of third gear. So you just push it down. You push it over to the left and then straight down again. You slowly lift the clutch up and transfer your foot back onto the gas pedal. 
you know, you're going that little bit faster, you might need to slow down that little bit more. So you come off the gas, you gently brake, the car has deaccelerated quite a lot and you need to get it into first gear. So the clutch goes all the way down to the floor. You can brake while you're putting the clutch down and changing gear. You palm your hand away and put it into first gear. You gently brake in and then you come to a stop. So at this point here, your clutch is all the way down and you're pressing the foot brake. You now need to make the car get going again. So you're in first gear, you slowly lift the clutch up, you transfer your right foot onto the gas pedal, the car will accelerate away. Same as before, the engine notes will start to rise. The needle on the rev count will go to number two and you need to get into second gear. Now, if you stay in gear too long, the engine revs will go higher and higher and higher and it will start to make quite a loud noise. It won't damage the engine, but it won't do it any good. To go into second gear, you come off the gas, clutch all the way down to the floor, palm your hand straight down into second gear. Now, lifting your clutch up still slowly, it should take roughly about two seconds to lift the clutch up. Hand back on the steering wheel, back on the gas. We're going that little bit faster. So you listen to the engine notes, you're looking at the rev counter. We now need to go into third gear. So off the gas, clutch down all the way to the floor, put it into neutral, push it straight up, slowly coming back off the clutch, then onto the gas. Car is going that little bit faster. And same again, you could keep it in third gear, but you'd be wasting quite a lot of fuel and then the engine notes will start to get higher. But when the needle roughly gets to about number two, we need to change up into fourth. So to change into fourth, you come off the gas, clutch goes all the way down to the floor, straight down into fourth gear, clutch comes up, should take about two seconds, then back on the gas. Now, it should roughly take you about two seconds to lift the clutch up. If it takes any longer, then the car will slowly start to deaccelerate. If you lift it up too quick, the car will jump forward. After quite a bit of time of practicing this, you don't even think about it, you just naturally just do it. Now the car's going, probably doing about sort of 60 mile an hour at this point, but to keep the revs down to save fuel, you need to get into fifth gear. So to get into fifth, you come off the gas, clutch goes all the way down to the floor. Now the thing to take into consideration now, you're doing about 60 mile an hour, so the car is going quite fast. So don't rush to change gear because what happens sometimes is that you rush to take your left hand off the steering wheel, and as you take your left hand off the steering wheel, the right hand sometimes follows the left hand and the car starts to wander. So give it a couple of seconds for your right hand to steer the car before you put your hand onto the gear stick. Then to put it into fifth, you just push it up out of fourth, push it to the right, and then straight up. Then you're slowly lifting the clutch up, back onto the gas. Now, Fifth gear is probably quite the awkward one because you're going that little bit faster and sometimes it doesn't fully go in. If it doesn't, then just put it back into fourth and then when you've settled yourself down, give it another go. So at this point here, if you're going to slow down, you've got various options. You can either go from fifth into fourth, but more often than not, if you're approaching like a roundabout or set of traffic lights, rather than having to go um, into fourth gear, then into third, you can block change. So you can go from fifth into third. So you come off the gas, clutch all the way down, gently braking, clutch all the way down to the floor, you pop it out of fifth and then push it straight up into third, slowly coming off your clutch onto the gas. Now remembering if you're slowing down using the foot brake, you can still use the foot brake while changing gear. If you come off the foot brake while you put the clutch down, the car will start to gain a little bit of uh, acceleration. So always gently braking while you're putting the clutch down. So we're slowing down a little bit more now. So as you're slowing down, you've got a decision to make. You can either go from fifth into second, uh, from third into second, or from second, third into first. So we're gonna go into second. So you come off the gas, you gently brake in, gently brake in. Clutch goes down while you're still braking. You pop it down from third, into neutral, over to the left, then down into second. Clutch slowly comes up, right foot goes up back onto the gas pedal. Now we're gonna bring the car to a stop. So as you're slowing down, you don't have to get it into first gear. You can slow down and get into, to keep it in second gear. It depends about where you're gonna to come to a stop. 
if you need if you come to a stop and you find that you're gonna to have to move along a little bit then you pop it down to first gear but we're going to come to a stop in second so you come off the gas gently braking clutch goes down you come to a stop when you stop you apply the handbrake and put it into neutral and then release your feet off the pedals so what we're going to do now is um, show you how to change gear but we're actually going to drive the car so the first safety check you need to do is make sure as you get in the car, make sure the handbrake is on and make sure it's in neutral. So give the gear stick a little bit of a wobble. That way you know that it's not in gear and the car's not gonna jump forward. You then start the engine, so turn the keys clockwise. So one and then two and the engine will come on. So to make the car go, the clutch goes all the way down to the floor. Select first gear, so palm away up into first. Give it a little bit of gas. Feel the bite, make sure it's safe, and don't forget your six point check, your effective observation checking your blind spots. Handbrake off and slowly lift that clutch up. Now we're on a quiet little road here, so as we slowly lift the clutch up, we're concerned about cars coming the other direction, so we're just going to keep it in the first gear. The engine revs are, are really slow, just covering the clutch just in case anybody comes around the corner. And we're going to follow the road to the end and at the end of the road we're going to go right so because we know we're going to come to a stop here we're gently braking as we get close to the end of the road our clutch is going to go all the way down to the floor but we're still in first gear when it's safe to do so we're going to drive on so we're slowly lifting that clutch up increasing that gas when we come out onto the new road we'll do a centre mirror check. Now the revs are slowly starting to increase so at this point here if you listen to the engine note it's telling you that we need to change gear. To change gear you come off the gas clutch down and straight into second gear. So the faster you go the higher up the gear you go. So we're slowly increasing the gas now. If you look on the dashboard we're up to about 2,000 revs and the car would be telling us now that we might need to change gear, but we've got a car coming, so we're coming off the gas, gently braking, but we should be able to balance it so we can stay in second gear. Same again, we're just slowly increasing the gas. You can hear the engine note. You will then get to a point where you need to change up into third gear. So you come off the gas, clutch down, push it out of second, up into third, clutch comes up, back onto the gas. So this is a 30 mile an hour road, lots of parked cars, so the chances are we're not going to get out of third gear along here. So as we're going along we've got a vehicle in front of us so we're just coming off the gas, slowing the car down, but as we slow the car down if we stayed in third gear the car would start to stall. So there as we gently brake the clutch went down and we went from third into second. The engine notes are getting higher again, so then we've gone into third gear. So at the end of the road, we're gonna go left. Now this is a closed junction. We can't see anything, so as we approach, we sent the mirror left door mirror signal, off the gas, gently braking, and because we can't see anything, we might have to slow down and come to a stop here. We've gone into second gear. quite a tight junction and we're going to do this in first gear. So we come off the gas, we're gently braking, gently braking, the clutch goes down and we go from second into first. As we're gently braking the clutch slowly comes up, we're in first gear, and we slowly increase the speed. You can hear the engine note at 2000 revs starting to moan a little bit, so at that point then we're going to go into second gear. So this is a quite residential area. Can't really get much faster than we are now. We're doing about 20 mile an hour, just below 2,000 revs. So it's probably worth staying in second gear.
take the next road on the right. So mirror, centre mirror, right door mirror, signal. Off your gas. We can't see a lot here, so we're gently braking. Then the clutch goes down and we select first gear. Slowly lifting the clutch up towards the bike. Increase the gas. At the end of the road, we're going to turn right. So it's not worth getting to second gear along here because the road's too short. As you gently brake in, we're coming to a stop, the clutch goes down. We have a good look in both directions. At this point here, we come off the foot brake, pressing the gas as the clutch slowly comes up to the bike. Listening to the engine note and looking at the revs, off the gas, clutch down, into second, clutch up, back on the gas. And you can control your speed as you're going down here if you can't see a lot. So if there's a vehicle coming, you check your centre mirror off your gas, gently braking. But you should be able to just gently brake and not have to change gear. Similar sort of thing that you would do if you're on a push bike. Sometimes you don't want to have to change gear and you don't have to come to a stop on a push bike and put your feet on the floor. So you can just gently brake and just balance your speed, but remembering you'd need to change gear. The engine notes are increasing, so we're going to go up into third gear. But in the distance, we've got a bend coming up. So as we're approaching the bend, we do a centre mirror check, off the gas, gently braking. Because we're going quite slow, the clutch goes down, we drop it down to second gear. And the clutch slowly comes up. 